Alright, so today I'm going to be showing you how to change your ignition lock cylinder. This is actually my old one. Um, it won't even go back into the zero position at this point. Um, pretty much I had to jam the key to be able to get it in there. It's pretty screwed up, so I went ahead and replaced it. Um, you're going to need a couple Phillips head screwdrivers and a couple picks. I prefer having this one with the angle and then a straight one. Um, so first you're going to start off under here. You've got your fuse panel with those two things. Basically pull that right off out of the way. And then you're going to get under here and there are three screws you're gonna have to remove these ones and then back here this one so these all right I went ahead and remove those three screws as you can see um then you're gonna have to take apart the casing around your steering wheel column which it pretty much just snaps apart pretty easily. You're gonna wanna pull this down for your steering wheel adjustment. It kinda helps. That comes right off, no problem. Next step is you're gonna need another screwdriver and take out this screw right here all right uh, that's out um you're gonna want to take your key at this point um and with a new one, it can be very hard, or with your old one, it can be hard because obviously your cylinder is screwed up. But you're going to have to put it into your number one position at this point. And then up here, there's a little hole back here that um, you're going to stick your angled pick in. And when you press down, there's a little button in there. I'll show you on the old one it's actually this button right here if you have it in any other position that button will not go down so make sure that yours is in that one position so you put it in there and then you're basically gonna wiggle it and pull it until that comes out Really not all too hard. Um, putting it in is where most people have their issue. On most forums and everything, it tells you that you have to push in a button. Everyone thinks that it's this button that you're pushing down to put it back in. But if you actually look down into your cylinder here, you'll see that there's actually like a little ramped up area in there that pushes that button back into place for you. Um, what you're actually looking at, and this is where you're going to want your um, straight pick for, is down in here on this side wall on the right, there's a little part here that pushes over. And you'll see that um, that part back there move over with it. The issue with that, holding that in, is where you hold it in. So you're going to come back under here, and you're going to see this little black part right here. There's one screw holding it in. You're going to pull that screw out.
uh, look like that. A little Phillips head. Now that that's out of your way, you look back here and right behind where your screw goes in, there's another hole. You're gonna use one pick to push in that button inside that I showed you and use another pick to hold it in place using that. And once you have it held in place, then you can take the pick inside out and slide your uh, lock cylinder back in. Uh. There you go. Bring. All right. Now that I've got my pick in there, you can see that that bush, that button is stuck over, and it's holding it in place. And at this point, you're just gonna take your lock cylinder and try to shimmy it back in there should go in fairly easy with your new one and make sure that when you do this your key sorry about that make sure that when you do this your key is in your new lock cylinder and it is in the one position as well so that that button can be pushed back in and it'll slide back into place otherwise you're going Otherwise, you're going to be fighting that button, which you do not want. I'm very sorry about this. I'm trying to film with my phone and do this at the same time. Also, make sure that... Um, make sure that you put the cylinder in the right way. There's not really a way to put it in wrong, but uh, apparently it is possible. That button keeps popping out of place. And just like that, it's back in. It's honestly pretty simple. Um, and at this point, you're gonna take this little screw again, put your black piece back in place. There's a little knob right here, that little bun type thing that goes up into that hole that you just had your pick in. And it all pretty much lines up how it was. Alright, now that that's back in, you're going to take your other, your other little tiny screw here that went down in underneath. Put that back in place. Um, be careful when you do this one. You don't want to put it in too far. I did it one time and somehow it managed to block me from turning my key out. But just make it nice and snug. And the key should come right out. Alright. And then you're just gonna put your uh Put this stuff back on, same way it came off, and your fuse panel, and you're done. Alright, and just to show you that it did work, uh, my car not, might not start over, or turn over, because um, I gotta replace my alternator, my battery's pretty much dead. 
but yeah. it does work. Um, thank you for again. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry about um, the way that the filming was. Um, just wanted to be able to help out people if I could with this video. It's not quite the same as um, anything newer. After 92, I believe they changed them. Um, but, I mean, it's really pretty simple. It's just that one button that's inside of there that tricks people a lot. Um, but, yeah, thank you for watching.